Um, so the next slide then is showing newsletters, what you should not do. Um, I've seen any gods of my newsletters that look like this and I never want to see any more of them. They're just terrific. <laughs> They've got so many different fonts in them, so many different colors, so many different blocks. I mean, if you were, if you were to get this in your inbox, you wouldn't know where to go, to go to first. Um, you wouldn't necessarily know who you're getting it from either because they're, as I say, there's so many different blocks there. So is this from one person or is this from multiple businesses that are sending out a newsletter, you know, amalgamated uh, with that, that kind of thing. So many different shares at the bottom. It almost looks like it's different uh, language and everything. So with this, this is how not to do it. I hate these big garish, you know, uh, photoshops over the top, loads of text, real heavy text, different fonts all over the place. It's definitely, definitely a no-no with regards to sending a newsletter. Um, this is another example of, I mean, it may work. You may get people coming through to your links because the links are quite obvious. They're underlined. People will know where to go. But with regards to this one, it doesn't look very nice. So for me, it's all about the aesthetic. So with Engage, you know, we know exactly how our website looks. And we t we've tied in our Facebook and our Twitter with that. They all look very, very similar. And we want our newsletter to do the same thing. I mean, with this, the pink, it's just too garish for me. It doesn't, it doesn't really work. And also, it's very, very text heavy. Um, and we've got a wee tiny JPEG down at the bottom. And I don't even know what that picture is about. It looks like some kind of boiler room or something. It's very strange looking. Um, but yeah, far too text heavy. I, I, there's nothing really pulling me in. You know, you want, you want really nice images. You guys are photographers, so you should be using what you have in the, in the locker. And that is really, really good images. Um, and you can have full, full screen images. You can have a couple of small different image blocks. And if, if you're using something like MailChimp or um, Campaign Monitor, your e-newsletter will be mobile responsive. So whenever people get it on the mobile, it'll all look nice. It'll all come in on top of each other. So um, that's how not to do it. Um, I'll show you a wee bit later about how, how we create our e-newsletters.